friends, welcome back to Acre Homestead. My name is Becky and you may be wondering why I'm in a different kitchen because you just saw my mom. I'm at my mom's house. We are making ice cream sandwiches today and I'm gonna show you guys how to make them. They're super easy and delicious. This is actually in preparation for my birthday party. My mom one year surprised me with ice cream sandwiches for my birthday instead of cake because cake's not my favorite thing. And now every year it's kind of tradition that we have ice cream sandwiches for my birthday. We are gonna be making two different types of ice cream sandwiches. We're gonna be making a peanut butter ice cream sandwich, which I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how to do that. We're also gonna be making some chocolate chip cookie ice cream sandwiches. I will link the recipes to both of these cookie recipes down in the description box below if you're interested in checking them out. So let's go ahead and get right into it. I'm gonna show you how to make the peanut butter cookie dough for the ice cream sandwiches. First thing we're gonna do is get one cup of butter in the mixer. This is room temperature, it's actually very soft butter, and a teaspoon of vanilla. This is some homemade vanilla my sister made us for Christmas one year. We're gonna go ahead and get this mixer turned on and we're gonna beat it for two full minutes. This is now beaten for two minutes and all we're gonna do now is gradually add in one cup of brown sugar and one cup of white sugar. We're gonna scrape down the sides before we start adding in the white sugar. If you guys don't have yourself one of these spatulas that's all one piece instead of where it's separated right here and ever gone through the trouble where the bottom half of the spatula falls off when you're trying to scrape down the sides, do yourself a favor and go get yourself one of these. Do you care if I get the beans ready? Yeah, we gotta, we gotta have that on film, Mom. Now we're gonna add the eggs, beating between each egg. Now we're gonna incorporate one cup of creamy peanut butter. Now we're gonna add three cups of flour and a half teaspoon of salt. And you wanna mix until barely combined. That looks good. So now we're gonna go ahead and roll out the cookies onto a cookie sheet. This is a cookie sheet. There is a difference between a cookie sheet and a sheet pan. The bacon right here is on a sheet pan and a cookie sheet is actually made up of two pieces of metal and there's air between the two pieces of metal. I don't know the science behind it, but it's supposed to make a better cookie. I can tell you the science behind it. On a sheet pan, it's one piece of metal and it's much hotter on the surface of the metal. A cookie sheet is two pieces of metal. Cookies on a cookie sheet will bake evenly and the bottom won't be crispy, brown, or burnt. If you bake cookies on a sheet pan, the bottom will cook much faster and that's when you have brown or almost burnt cookie bottoms before the top is cooked. Don't put a cookie sheet in the dishwasher because water will get in between the layers and that will affect the baking quality of your cookie sheet. That's the science behind it. Well, there you go. <laughs> the more you know. Uh, I will link these down in the description box below if you're interested in them. And then we have one of these handy dandy cookie scoops and we're just gonna scoop them out. The advantage of a cookie scoop is that your cookies will be uniform size. Then we're gonna flatten them out just a little bit so that they cook faster and they're gonna bake more uniform. So now we're gonna stick these in a 375 degree oven for nine-ish minutes. When you're baking cookies, it's more about what they look like than the time. So we want them to be a little bit browned around the outside, but you want the inside to still look a little bit doughy. And that's when we're gonna pull them out because they'll continue to cook once they're out of the oven. And I think that's why a lot of times we get dry cookies because we leave them in the oven a little too long. These are perfectly done. They're just browned around the outside, but they're still very soft in the inside. And I'm gonna go ahead and take them and whack them on the counter. Whoops. Oh shoot, we lost one. Don't whack them that hard. That was exactly 10 minutes in the oven. This is the second batch going in. When you're cooking cookies, you wanna make sure your cookie sheet cools down completely. If your cookie sheet is hot when you're putting cookies on them and you stick them in the oven, the bottom is gonna to cook too fast and you're gonna have dry cookies. So this is completely cooled cookie sheet. Let's put it in for another 10 minutes. We are on to the fun part, actually assembling the ice cream sandwiches. All I'm gonna do is take this ice cream cart and I'm actually gonna remove the carton from the ice cream itself. It's pretty easy to do. You can just take a knife and cut away the cardboard. It is best to work with a really firm frozen ice cream. This ice cream happens to be a little bit on the soft side because my mom's freezer happens to be a little bit on the warmer side. We are gonna cut lengthwise and what that's gonna do is allow us to then use our biscuit cutters. My mom has a set of biscuit cutters and I just found the one that matched the size of the cookie we're gonna be doing. And we're just gonna cut the ice cream into those rounds and put it onto the cookie. And then it does help if you actually kind of push the cookie down together. And that's all you have to do, that easy, and you have ice cream sandwiches. 
And then we are going to do the exact same thing with the vanilla ice cream and the chocolate chip cookies. And run as fast as you can to get these in the freezer. I hope you guys are encouraged to try to make your own ice cream sandwiches. They're pretty easy to make and they're absolutely delicious. To me, this beats birthday cake 10 to one. I hope you guys give this a try. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new and you wanna see more what I have going on around here, go ahead and click here. I'll have a couple videos pop up. Go ahead and subscribe. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.